Just making sure we're up and recording. Yes. All right, so pump and rotate that around. Go for one to three seconds each. Quad stretch, quad stretch, knee, and knee. All right, now you're going to go down to the floor. If you can, touch your fingers to the front of your toes. Lower it. You're going to be about a spot width apart. You're going to lower your hips as low as you can while you're still touching the front of your toes. And then extend your hips, extend your legs as much as you can. Don't let go. Right back down. Lift your head up, your chest up. Push it under your thighs with your elbows. Straighten it out again. And roll back up to standing. We're going to go walking squat thrust here. Walking squat thrust. Slow motion walking squat thrust. We want to hold each position for one second. So we're getting them stretched out. So literally one second move to get to one position. One second hold. Step back with your right leg. One second hold to stretch your right hip. Step back with your left leg. One second hold. Forward with the right leg. So get that stretch up the other side. Forward. Squat up nice and slow. Now we're going to go with the left leg first this time. Everyone good? Everyone awake? Give me a thumbs up. You're waking up. Wake up. Wake up. Squat down. Step back with the left leg. While it's back there, hold it for a second. Stretch that left hip flexor. Then step back with the right leg. Hold both of those hips up. Step forward with the left. So now you're stretching the right hip flexor. Step forward with the right. And up. One more. Nice and slow. One more each side. So squat down. Right leg back. Stretch that right hip. Left leg back, stretch the left hip. Right leg forward, stretch that left. Left leg forward and up. One more, the left leg lead. One more, left side lead. Squat down. Left leg back. Right leg back. Left leg forward. Right leg forward. Stand up. Let's just get a little jog in place. Low knees, little jog in place. Moving forward. And moving backwards. Little job. Just getting that blood flowing. Just shake his arms out. You're just running forward, running backwards. Getting that blood flowing. Ready to work. Getting ready to work. This is just a warm up to the warm up. All right, now you're going to go walking spot to us. Same way we just did. So you're going to go on your own pace. And you're going to go a little faster, a little flow to it. Make sure you're alternating. One time, lean to the right. Next time, lean to the left. So you're just going to squat down, step, step. Step, step, and up. Squat down, step, 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 step. On the other side, and up. On your own pace, you about two or three each side. So walking squat thrust on the right, walking squat thrust on the left. Make sure you're just stepping it out. Squat down, then we go down. There. Don't lean over at the waist. Nice. Good posture, Peggy. Keep that back totally straight. Be moving to squat down. Keep your feet a little further apart. Rebecca's husband, I forget your first name. Keep your feet a little further apart when you squat down. Say so that you're not crunching your knees up. Yes, one more, one more. And good, time. Go back to that running in place, except now you're gonna go lateral side to side. So just think light, let your feet, low knees, not even high knees, just side to side. Not letting your feet crisscross. See, our feet are not crisscrossing. Just side to side, light on your feet. And time. Let's drop into the push up position. Just move some of that push up position a little bit. All you're going to do is walk to your right for two steps, hit two shoulder taps. Walk to your left for two steps, two shoulder taps. So push up position. If you need to modify that somewhere, just go up on an incline somewhere. You have to touch a knee for the shoulder taps or one knee for the shoulder taps to do what you have to do. If you're just walking in the push up position, two step, don't tap shoulder tap. Walk two steps the other direction from the push up position. Let's do it. Just getting warmed up still. Make sure your hips are down. This hips nice and low. You want to get crazy, you're feeling good. And the push-up before those two shoulder taps. 
Hips low, hips low, back straight. Back straight while you're moving and back straight while you're doing the shoulder press. Add a push up on the end if you're feeling crazy. Beth, maybe you didn't hear me. I said, add a push up on the end if you feel like it. That means do it. There we go. Nice side to side. Just start picking the pace up now. Push, tap, tap, walk over to the other side. Push if you can, tap, tap, and time. Nice, come up on your feet. Again, you need a single dumbbell, a light to a medium dumbbell, probably a couple different options. This first warm up rounds are gonna have two hands on the one dumbbell, holding it across like this. Eventually, every set, every round will have one hand on it, kind of with the palm in for the most part. So right now, just get one dumbbell, both hands on it. We're gonna get rolling. We're gonna have a mixture of strength and cardio and core. So there's gonna be tons of different movements. Let's hold it right here. Knees are slightly bent, back is straight, abs are strong. Let's just pump it out. Think about, we said light to medium weight, and you have two hands on it, so you want some speed here. You're just pushing it out, pretty fast pace. But if you look at my back, I'm not marching, I'm not rocking. Just pump those shoulders out. Right here, go, 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 begin. Pump it. This is just a little more on circuit. We're just going to switch right on the fly. Just pumping that out. Straight up and down. It's lightweight, so you can get a little pace to it. Once it hits the top, it's already on its way down. Once it hits the bottom, it's already on its way back up. Roll it. And time, right? You just and just hit a, a still a controlled squat, but you're not stopping at the top or bottom. See how I'm moving slow, but I'm never stopping. So just keep on moving. Slow but never stopping. Good, right into a curl. Same thing. It's lightweight, so you want a little tempo on this stuff. Still squeezing, not rocking, not bouncing, but have a little tempo to it. Two hands on one, and it's a light to medium dumbbell. So this should be pretty easy for your life. Let's get everything warmed up, get ready to do this all with one arm. Right back to your chest. You're gonna go squat to press. This is all just getting all these muscles still warmed up. Do the secondary warm up round. Squat press, pump it out. That weight under your chin, control down, sit back on your hips and heels, abs strong. Breathe out as you're pushing up. Keep your nose coming down, out through your mouth coming up. Keep the nose down, keep the nose down, boom. Head up, chest out, shoulders back and down. Good, palms in or at the bottom. And a curl to press, same thing. You need a little tempo on this. A little tempo. Right there. Pumping it. See, I'm never stopping. It hits the bottom, it's on its way up. It's not stopping in the middle, because this is lightweight, we can move kind of fast. So you're working your muscles. We're not, we're not thinking just straight workout. We'll combine some strength with cardio, with conditioning, with core. Pump that out and hold it straight down and now squat to curl. Squat to curl right away, transition right into it. Just a few reps of each, pump that out. Sit back on your hips and heels and up, chest out. So back and down, back and straight. Abs are strong, every set is an ab set. Every exercise is an ab exercise. You can type every one of these sets and you'll have to do hardly any ab exercise in your life and have a long, strong, lean, functional core. Couple more, squat to curl, pump that out. Boom. And ah, put that down just for a second. Just to shake those arms out. Back to where we were before. Just shake those arms, move them. We're just getting started. You're gonna scoop that right back up. Hope you enjoyed that recovery. Right here, you're gonna go with your feet apart. Jack press up. Both hands on it. It's going to be just a few. Go right to it. Go right to it. You're going to change this around the fly. Jack press up. You need to modify. You just step one foot out at a time while you're pushing this up. Let's do it. Jack press up. Two hands on it. So now think about how this weight feels with two hands. A lot of these similar movements you have to do with one hand. So if you need to adjust your weight, adjust it when you get a chance later. Right away, transition to jack press out. Weight goes forward. From the side view, when it goes forward, a little harder. So think about how to do that with one arm. It's gonna be a lot harder than two. So adjust your weight if you have to. 
Push it out. All right, now you're gonna go split, Jack. Press up. So feet going front and back. Weight goes up and down. Split, Jack. Press up. Feet front to back. Weight goes up and down. Bouncing the step. Now you're going front to back. Alec, go front and back with the feet. So if you're modified now, you can step back with the foot. Because now we're going split jack, which is front to back. And good. And now split jack. Press out. Pushing forward. Pushing straight out in front of you while the feet are going front to back. So keep in mind, the weight's too heavy for two hands. It's probably going to be pretty hard on one hand. So get a chance in a second here. Keep your foot jacking it. Boom. Right there. And time. So I'm going to give you like 10 seconds. If you need to adjust, find, go run and find some other weights or find something else to use. If you need an option for a lighter single arm option later on, not a break here. Only if you need to find another obstacle weight because everything you did plus much, much more, you have to do with the weight in one hand. So if you need to find another option, find another option now. It's going to get a lot harder than it just did there, and that was a two hands on. Everyone, <laughs> so tell me uh, down that pre workout drink early. <laughs> like, let me get that sip in. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has the options ready, weights ready, ready to roll. All right, so we're going to repeat. That round we just did, it's the first part of the round with just single arm. That was just all pressing. So grab your weight, palm in. So this one we're going to go single arm, we're on right arm. Everyone's going to be on the same arm, we're going to switch at the same time. Let's do it. Right arm, we're starting with just the press. Don't forget, we want this light to medium, so you should be able to pump this out. Palm is in on this, we're going to have a grip, so you can see from the side view. I'm holding palm in, so we can just get a good little pump to this. We want pace to this. We want rhythm. So now think about it. Every one of these sets, we have to do it for twice as long. We got to do it with the right arm, and then we got to do it with the left arm. So pump that arm out. Get the elbow in tight to the ribs. You're pumping that right arm. Breathe. Those knees are bent. Back straight. Abs are strong. Throw that up there. There you go. Library, keep those knees bent a little bit. Nice, strong athletic stance. You don't want to lock those knees down. Pump it. Breathe. Every time you push up, breathe out. Hold first out. And switch to the left arm right away. Right away. It's right on the fly. All these sets are going to be switching from right to left halfway through the set. So half the set will be on the right, half the set will be on the left for every single set. Some rounds to mix things up, we're going to start with the left arm. I'll let you know how to do it. Just so we're not always getting the left arm when we're tired halfway through the set. We're going to switch around which arm we start with for the most part. Pump it out. Breathe. This will be a light to medium weight. So pump this with some pace. Pump more on the left. Pump that out. Elbow in tight to the rib. When you come down, that elbow should be tight to the rib. We're going for a little pace to this. Two more, two more, two more. Pump that. Boom. Boom. Good. Time. Put it in the right hand. It's going to hold it at your right side. Right here. In a shoulder rack position just for a squat. Right here. Easy. This is not even one of the real rounds yet. This is still just getting used. This is just getting you used to that one weight now. This is your second. We did a pre-warm-up round, a warm-up round. That's your secondary warm-up round before we get to the work. Keep rolling. Keep that tucked in tight. Full deep squat. And switch to the left side. Hips back when you're sitting down in that squat. You can see from a side view, my hips go back. My knee stays over my ankles. Blinding, bring your feet a little further apart. So you can sit back on your heels. You don't come up on your toes. Sit back on your hips and heels. You sit back into a chair. There we go. Left, left side, Blanca, left side. Wait to the left hand. Keep the nose down, out the mouth up. Right away, right back to the right arm. Palm in. Pumping a hammer curl. Again, don't forget. It's coming down to the side of your leg, and it never stops moving. So it's not resting at the bottom. Pumping those arms out. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Right arm. His knee's slightly bent. Bam, double stuck to your side. Couple more. The light to medium waist. You'll get a little rhythm to that. 
and twist to the left side. Right to it. Bump that. Look at my elbow, it never leaves my side. It's just bend and extend. So it's not raising up or flopping down when I come down. Just because we're having a little tempo on these doesn't mean we're losing control. It's still completely squeezed. You can see beside me, my body's not rocking at all. There's a little pumping this out. Body stiff, strong, get that core tight, legs tight on everything. Even a single arm bicep curl, think of it as a total body exercise. Keep pumping it, kicking it. Right away to the right arm. Palm in, squat to press. Squat and shoot that up there. Use your nose down, full press, full squat. Don't stop at the top, don't stop at the bottom. So once you hit the top position, you work your way back down. Once you hit the bottom, you come right back up without bouncing at the bottom. So it's continuous motion without ever stopping. Get the nose down, out of the mouth up. Squat press. Then on the hand, get away from your leg. Pump that out, pump that out. Yes, switch over left arm. Give me quick switches on some of these. Drive it up. Your nose down, out through mouth up. Shoot it, boom. Boom, squat and press. Keep it in tight to your shoulder while you're doing that squat. Palm just stays in the whole time. Don't worry about switching the wrist and turning it out, all this other stuff. Just keep it in. You can just shoot it straight up and down. That's all you gotta worry about. In tight, close to the body. There you go, good pace, Beth. Keep it rolling. Library is pumping. And time. Right arm. Palm in. Curl the press. So look at this tempo I'm doing. It never stops moving. But make no mistake about it. I'm not out of control. I'm not bouncing. I'm squeezing the shit out of this dumbbell this entire time. Squeeze the bicep of the up. Shoulder. Control down. It just has a tempo. Right arm. Curl the press. Crush it, squeeze away, it's bring it up, squeeze, drive, control, control, squeeze, drive, control it down with speed. Completely control the whole movement. One more, one more on that right side. We're all on the right side, stay together. Switch it, left side, rolling. Left side, curl the press. Boom. It's your body's not wobbling. Stop when you push that overhead. Your body's going to want to twist to the side. Don't let it. A lot of the purpose of this single arm is to work on that balance, that coordination, that core, that counter rotation, not letting yourself rotate. It's your body's going to want to. It's going to have a strong foundation. Yes. Right arm. Squat, curl. Keep the palm in the whole time. Control, right arm, squat to curl. Right to it. Pump that out. We are flowing. Squeeze the shit out of that arm. Bring it up. Squeeze it. Squeeze the weight. Try to bring you break your fingers with the damn weight. That's how you should be squeezing every time. Breathe it out. Loosening up all those joints. Get all the muscles pumped up. Get the nose down. Out to the mouth up. Drive it. Breathe it. Squeeze it. Yes, left arm. Finishing off this portion of the circuit. Left arm squat to curl. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Sit back on the hips and heels. Sit back on the glutes. Like you're sitting back in a chair. Into the nose down, out to the mouth up. Into the nose down, out to the mouth up. Drive it. Two more, two more. The palm in the whole time. Squeeze it. And time. And that way down for a second just to shake it out. All right, so the round from here, we're going to get into some real rounds. The round from here, you sure to be warmed up, you sure to be sweating, your body temperature should be up, your muscles sure to be pumped up a little bit. But seriously, that was just the secondary warm round, so now we're going to get to the real rounds. So each of these rounds, the first round, you're always going to have a single dumbbell. The first set of each round is always going to be in the push-up position with one hand on the dumbbell. You'll know which one it is. I'll walk you through it. Don't worry. But it's always going to be the push-up position the first set. The second set's always going to start off standing. The third set will be flipped over, laying on your back. And the fourth set will be a different variation of those jack presses that we did in the warm-up with the two hands, except it's going to be one. So you'll be in the push-up position, 
standing position, then on your back, then a jack. So just four movements every round. Just remember, you need to do right side, left side for each. So it sounds like only four, but technically that's eight sets. We have to do a set on the right and a set on the left. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna suck, but you'll thank me one day when you're on the beach and have a long routine. Rebecca, please tell your husband not to take that statement seriously. All right, let's roll. Let's go to the push up position. It's gonna be simple, just get started. But think, remember, we said legs and weight. So we're going to renegade row, but I want this fast. I want speedy renegade row. So you're here in the push up position. Your feet can be apart. I want it here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pump that out on the right side. Now listen, if you ever need to stop on the push-up position, just touch me down and keep going. So let's all on the right side, speed renegade row. Going in three, two, one, boom, let's do it. Renegade row. Think speed, think speed. We want light to meet the weight. All on the right hand with the weight. If you need to for a second, just touch me down. Reset and then keep the set going. You do what you got to do, go at your own pace. Breathe it out, pump it out, keep it back as straight as possible. Right side, pump it. Three more, three, two, one. Time, put it down. In between sides in this push-up position, I want you to touch your knee. Now you're gonna go speed right in, bro. On the left side, left arm. Going in three, two, one, and go. Speed right in, bro. Boom, boom, pump that. Dance to the rim. Squeeze your back. Pump that out. That, that hand that's on the floor, that right hand should be on the floor, should be lined up directly under your right shoulder. Your feet can be shoulder width apart. If you feel like you're having trouble with the balance, just put your feet a little further apart. Pull yourself on your right side. You're rolling with your left side. Keep it rolling. Pumping that. We want some speed. It's a light weight for these. It's not a heavy, heavy weight. So we want some tempo. Like we did that whole warm up. That's why we warmed up with that tempo the way we did. Because all of these rounds are going to have a little bit of tempo like this. This is your second set of the Renegade Row. Three more. Three, two, one. Pump it. Time. Come up on your feet right away. This is a straight through circuit. Hold it in your right arm. We're going with a squat thrust. In your weight, the weight in your right arm only. So you're going to squat down, jump back, jump forward, stand up. Now, if you need to modify it, you know how to do that you get that in the warm up. You just step back. And stand up. So let's do squat thrust in three, in two, in one. Bam, let's do it. Squat thrust. Weight in your right arm. So squat down, jump back, jump in, and squat up. The weight stays in your right hand the whole time. Make sure squatting down when you go down there. Weight stays in the right hand. Yes. Also make sure you're squatting down when you get down there. Don't lean over at the waist. When you jump forward, jump with your feet apart. So you can squat back up. Jump forward, look, your feet are apart. So I could just simply squat up. That's why it's a squat, thrust back, jump forward, stand up. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep it moving. This is just the right arm. Don't forget, every set gets done twice because we need to get the right arm and the left arm. You need to modify it. Put your hands up on the couch or up on the chair. Don't do it slow. Or just walk both one foot out at a time. Or elevate your hands and walk one foot out at a time. There is always a modification. Modify before you stop. Keeping it rolling. One more. One more. Everyone get one more in. Right on. Squat down. Jump back. Jump in. Stand up. Yes. Put it right over to the left arm. It's not gonna be a break in between right and left. It's really gonna be a transition, a deep breath. Boom, let's do it, let's roll. Left arm, squat thrust. Jump back, jump in, squat up. Left arm, squat thrust. We're rolling. Squat down, jump back, jump in, and up. If you need to modify, again, I'll see you slide you. Squat down, step back one. And just walk out, peace by peace, one leg at a time. Make sure your abs are super strong at that bottom position when you're in the push up position. Let's do it. Keep rolling. Pump that out. Pump that out. Abs are straight and strong. Keep rolling. That weight is crushing that left. That left arm is crushing that dumbbell the entire time. 
keeping it moving. You should have back and straight, you're going down. The more tired you get, the more you got to focus on your technique. Don't drop these over the waist. You should sit back on your hips and heels. There we go. Squat down, jump back, jump in, stand up. Nice work, nice work. Keep rolling. Boom, boom, boom. Two more, two more, two more. And time. So after that standing round, we're calling that a standing round, even though you're transitioning up and down, you get to go on your back. So you're going to be on your back. It's going to be hip raise to press with the right arm. Side go this way so you can see this right arm. So as the hips go up, the weight goes up. Keep the elbow in your ribs, palm in. And it's just my hips tap and elbow taps. Again, you want to tempo on this. Like to meet the weight so you can go pretty fast pace. Let's start in three, two, one. It's hip raise to press. I'll show you what to do while you started. So your hips tap, your elbow taps, you throw right up. Squeeze your glutes. We need some speed, some tempo. It's a pretty light weight for this type of movement. So you should have to tap that out pretty quick. Elbows in, tight to your ribs. Palm is in. Hips go up, weight goes up. There you go, Blanca. Nice pace, nice height on that hip raise. Peggy, I can't see your feet, but just make sure you're pushing through your heels. Drive those hips up. There you go, Blimey. Get up there a little higher. Push through those heels. Not your toes. There you go. There it is. Maximum height at the top. Pinch your butt cheeks together at the top. Like you're squeezing a pencil in there. I don't know why you're squeezing a pencil in your butt cheeks, but pretend you're squeezing a pencil in your butt cheeks. Drive it up. Drive it up. Breathe out as you're pushing up. Three more. Three more. Pump that right arm. Pump it. Pump it. And time. All you're doing is just regrouping to switch it over safely to the other hand without dropping on your face. Always switch the weight when you're on your back with the weight down and above your chest. Don't ever switch it above your face. Just one little slip. And I hope you're going to have a good dental program. So left arm. Hip raise, press. Go. Let's do it. Left arm. Right there. Drive. Tap. Breathe it out. Push those hips up. Push the weight up. Pump it, pump it. Get a little pace to it, a little rhythm to it. The elbow taps the floor at the same time that the hips tap the floor. Drive that up there. Breathe it out. Do it, do it, do it. Breathe it out. Pump it up. Pushing the pace. Get those hips way up there. Extend those hips. Squeeze the glutes. Drive it up. It's an easy one. It's a break from being up on your feet. It's even a little break from your shoulder. Even though it's a press, it's such a light weight, so it's an easy movement. And time. Hop up on your feet. The fourth exercise of this round. Single arm, right arm. Jack. Press up. So now we need to do a set on the right arm and a set on the left arm. Finish off this, this round. Right here. So let's do it. Going in three, two, one. Boom. Let's roll. Right arm. Jack. Press up. So the weight goes up when the feet go apart. There it is. Breathe it out every time you push it up. Light on your feet, bounce the step, keep that core tight. If you need to modify, just step out as you push it up. Boom, boom, tap it, drive it, push it, press it. You need to adjust your weight on any of these, grab another weight at any time. Just switch them out and keep rolling. Even if it's mid-set, start fading, do what you gotta do. Just stop for half a second and pick it back up. Modify those feet. Switch up your weight to a lighter one because some of these are going to be a lot harder than others with a single arm, especially once we get to those single arm out movements on the next round. Let's go five more with the right arm. One, pump it, two, three, four, five, and time. Same smooth transition to the left arm. That was your break. I hope you enjoyed it. Going in three, two, one, and jack, press up left. Pump that out. <laughs> Control that right arm. If it's flopping and flailing, just put it up in your boxing guard if you have to. If you need to 
throw it. Tighten up that core. Pump it, pump it, pump it out. Feet go apart. Weight goes up. You need to modify. Just tap the feet out to the side. Or you can do pause reps. I'm like Rebecca's husband doing. You need to pause reps. Look, boom, boom, and reset. You have to. Bam, perfect like that. So you can still jump and you just pause. There's always different ways to modify it. You can do pause reps. Bam, reset. Take a rep. Boom, boom. Or tap those legs out if you have to. It depends on what's going. If your shoulders going, or if your legs are going, or if your breathing's going. You're gonna modify it slightly differently. There's tons of ways to modify every single movement. Let's go five more, five more, fast as you can, fast pace. One, two, three, four, five. Time, put that down. That's the end of that round. We're gonna be back in the push-up position in about two seconds. This is your chance to shake, stretch, move. If I don't see active recovery, we're just gonna start the next round. So if you wanna be sipping that shit, you're gonna be doing it while you're bouncing around in cartwheels or something. Active recovery, moving, stretching, shaking. Going to another round. Those same four positions, just totally different exercise now. Starting with the push-up position, the standing position, laying on your back, and then the different variation of the jack press. So move, shake, stretch. We're going in a couple seconds, but stay active here. Do all the stretches we did in the beginning. Hit those quad stretches, those knee hugs. You should be soaking wet by now. You should already be sweating, you should already be dripping. I'm just demonstrating this stuff. My shirt is already freaking so. Stretch those shoulders. Move. Keep the energy level up, but use this as a chance to reset with a quick two second recovery. Keep it moving. Keep that blood flow, blood flowing. So, this round, I'll just walk through real quick. Give you an extra 10 seconds to recover. Push up position. You're just going to be punching forward with your weight. It's going to be a little harder because now you're going to be down there and put those in and have to reach all the way forward, punching forward with your weight. The standing is going to be a single arm crawl out or single weight crawl out. You're still using both arms, but you're going to crawl out with the weight in your one hand. Then your back is going to be a single leg leg lift with the opposite arm press. And on the, on the standing, it's going to be jack press out with that weight out. So your weight might have to change for some exact size. Adjust it on the fly. If something's too heavy, too light while you're doing it, have your options there. Some of these are, are a little harder, like that jack press top. You need a water bottle, go to the water bottle, do what you gotta do. All right, try more weight. Push up position. You should be punching forward. I'll just show you a couple. We're here. Push up position, just punching forward, right back to the floor. Shh. Shh. If you have a super lightweight, you can just sit here. And punch forward for a few. So if you want to punch forward for one or two or three in a row, do what you got to do. We're going in three, in two, in one, boom. Push up position, punch forward. If your weight's a little heavy, place it back down on the floor every time. If you know it's light and you know you're bullshit and it's like a one or two pound weight, you should be up there for three or four or five in a row and then put it down if you can. So challenge yourself. There you go. Nice. Some of you are doing the whole damn set. Beth is doing the whole damn set up in the air. I like it. Don't you go crazy with it. You still want to give that shoulder a break because it's a hard movement on the shoulder. Push it forward. So every, after every few reps, bring it down just to reset. We're going to make it kind of short because it's a lot on your shoulders. Let's go a few more. Push up position. Breathe it out. Shh. Drive it forward. If your weight's heavy, just bring it down every time. That's how you modify it. Two more. One more. Time. Watch your knees just for a second. Just to safely transition to your left arm. Shake it, stretch it, and lift our punches. Push up position, and punch it. Right back down. If your weight is heavy, you just bring it down each time. If your shoulders are fading, you bring it down every time. If you can, you just pump it out for a few in a row. Do what you can. Let's roll, let's do it. Push straight forward though. Like literally that shoulder, that bicep should end up by your ear. When you push forward, it's literally straight out parallel to the floor, or as close to parallel as you can. Of course, modify the angle if you need to. It's just gonna be a few more. It's a tough position, tough movement, especially if you have a heavier weight, especially if you keep that hand in the air. Do what you can. Let's get five more. Everyone, pump for five. Pump for five. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. 
Let's come up onto our feet. This one, you're going to hold the weight in your right hand to start. Feet wider than shoulder width. It's going to be a crawl out. Feet wider than shoulder width. Squat down, crawl all the way out to the push up position. That weight in your right hand the whole time and stand up. This entire set will be in your right hand until we switch over to the left hand. Going in three, two, one, boom. Crawl out, weight in your right hand. Feet wider than shoulder width. Crawl all the way out to the push up position. Crawl all the way back in. Squat up. Control that going out there. Control that weight. Yes. Don't let that weight slide on the floor. Make sure you're picking it up and clunking it forward, walking it forward smoothly. Nice, nice, nice. Keeping it rolling. Blanca, put your feet further apart and also stand up when you come back. Don't stand on your arms. So keep your feet further apart and then squat up. Stand all the way up. There you go. Give your arms a break. And then squat back down. Feet still further apart. You still need them further apart. You want them wider than shoulder width on the crawl out. So you have a good foundation while you're going out there, especially with that weight tilting on one side. And when you get to the back position, sit back on your heels and then just squat up. Make sure we're keeping our back straight the entire time. This is a little slower of a movement, so we're going to do a lot more of these. You're also getting, technically, getting a break every time you stand up. So this is going to be a much longer set. I was nice on the last set, letting you do it quick from that push-up position, but this one is going to be a long set to make up for that. That just didn't feel right. Keep it moving. Feet apart, wide the shoulder width. Nice, strong grip of that weight the entire time. Control, squat down, walk forward. Take your time to get out there. Don't rush it. Come back in. You don't want that weight sliding on you and squat up. You want weight only on one side so you have complete control. Steve, can I get a modification? I'm having back issues, so the crawl out is aggravating my back. So you're gonna, can you, how the overhead stuff work before? Uh, I was able to do it, I think. Okay, so just go with a squat, if you can, on the single arm, and then just kind of go smooth, a fast curl to press. Kind of combine them together like we did earlier. Okay. So you still get a full body movement in. Kind of simulating a standing crawl out. So like when you're halfway up the, when you hit the top of the squat, hit the top of the press, hit the bottom of the squat, bottom of the curl. And just go as low as you can handle it, your back feels okay. Breathe out, drive it up, it's still on the right arm. And this cross a lot longer of a set. It takes a long time to crawl out there, so we need to get our reps in, so we're working it. And time, stand up straight. Quick shake, transition to the left arm, crawl out on the left side. Again, you look at my feet, look how wide my feet are. They're wide as shoulder width. Don't get all crazy and do some split or some shit like that. Just wide as shoulder width. Squat down, crawl out under control, right away, crawl back in. And look, look at my feet, I'm squatting up. Let's do it on the left side. Three, two, one, go, boom. Left side, crawl out. Weights in your left hand. Or left side, squat the curl to press. Breathe it out. Drive it up. Tyson, put your face off in the grill, grill off, open the camera for Big ass dome will take up the whole screen. Drive it, drive it. Squat, control it out, control it back in, squat up. Claire, is your back okay doing those? Yeah, it's fine. All right, cool. Take your time, crawl those out there. It's a little, we're going a little slower than you know we want to crawl. Just we want to adjust that core as you're kind of waddling out there. Depending on how heavy your weight is, it's going to be hard to control it out there. You also don't want the weight sliding on you. Especially if you have a hardwood floor, that weight could slide. Even on a mat, it could slide. When you have that forward momentum pushing forward in that crawl, so make sure you're controlling it, flopping it down, stepping it. One step at a time. We're going a few more. We're going three or four more. It's a little longer set. It takes a while for this movement. We'll finish that off. Bend those knees as you're coming back in. So you can squat up. Squat down, crawl out, crawl back in, and then squat to get up. So you're not putting the weight on your knees, not putting the weight on your back. One more. Last one right here. Finish it off. 
Crawl it out. Full push up position. Crawl back in. Stand up. Time. And you go from there. You get to put the rest of the on your back. So lay on your back. The weight's in your right hand. Palm in. Flip around. Left leg is straight. Right leg is bent. We're going to go with the tempo. Left leg straight up while you press up the right hand. Heel taps the floor on my left foot. At the same time, my elbow and my right arm taps the floor. So I'm just here. Your head can be on the floor, up in the air, whatever you want. And I'm just pumping these out right here. Keep that four times. Can't see you, coach. Can't see me? Can't see you. You might be able to see There's two cameras. You can see the dog. You can see my whole body. I just see the peak dog. Yeah, you're on the wrong camera. There's two cameras. That's one assist you have. One assist you see coach to see me. I'm looking at myself on the floor. Alex, can you see the other camera? Is the other camera working? Got it. I got it. All right, cool. So right arm, left leg. Try to time it that your left heel taps the floor at the same time your right elbow. Tap it. Drive. Right there. Pump this out. Elbows into your side the whole time. Leg is straight. If you have a super lightweight and you want to, you can add even a little reach and a crunch as you come to the top. Like I see Peggy doing. Okay, add Good, a so crunch. Sam, we're going to press. Press, Sam, press. You're going to keep right towards the chest and then press. Yes, there we go. Press while you're doing a straight leg leg lift. If you want to get a little extra reach and crunch, go for it at the top. That extra little lift up off the floor with your upper body. Press the right arm while the left leg goes up. Pump that out. Elbows in at your side. Crunch it, crunch it. Get three more, three more. Pump that. And time. A smooth, safe transition over to the other side. So weight to your left hand. Your right leg is straight, your left leg is bent, and press that weight up with the left arm while your right leg squeezes up. Don't just go through the motion and squeeze your right leg up there. While you lift that right leg up, squeeze that whole right side of your core and the right side of your waist. While you press up the left arm, so your whole torso should be tight. Count around into that tight, crush it, squeeze. Otherwise, you're wasting your time with that leg lift. It's gonna be too easy. You need to consciously squeeze your core, your waist on that right side. Every single time, squeeze it, pump it. By the time you get to five or six, that breaks out of your waist. You have should be able to be tight and bumping and burning. Don't just let the leg flick up in the air. Get the connection from your mind to the muscle that you're working on the right side. Squeeze your waist in there. Crunch it. As you're shooting that way up in there, push the weight up is the easy part. So you have to focus on getting that squeeze in your core while you're lifting the leg up. Ah, squeeze it. Pump it. Don't let it rest. At the bottom, it doesn't loosen up. It gets even tighter. Every rep, that course will get tighter and tighter and tighter. Pump it out. With a little pace, with a little tempo. We got about 10 more. These are the easy sets. We're going long. So I'm convinced that, that core is pumping and you're not loosening it up. The core shouldn't be resting at the bottom. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Pump it. Five more, five more, five more. Pump that. Four. Three, two, one, and time, hop up on your feet. So this is the one you're probably going to need the lightest weight of the day. If you have a lighter weight, it's the jack press out with single arm. But you already know, so say this was too hard to do. Worst case, you do it in the warm up and you just put both hands on it if you have to. So maybe do a few with a single arm. You're like, oh shit, it's getting hard. Let me get a few with double arm. All right, let me go back to try to come with single arm. Switch that, switch it up on the fly. No damn rules. Switch it up. Let's go. Jack press out. Right arm going in. Three, two, one, and go. Go. Top it out there. And the feet go apart. Run right arm. Right arm. Right arm. Fuck. Let's stand on the right arm. Pump that out, pump it. You need to modify, just step out, opposite feet. You start losing it, because that arm is burning, just go both hands, totally fine. Just keep moving. 
You can go both hands and just tap the feet out to the side if you have to. Just keeping it moving. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Time. Regroup. Switch up to the left arm. I know those are crazy hard to keep it on around there, so we don't need it for a whole amount of time. Left arm going in three, two, one. And boom. Pop it. Pop it out. Pop it out. Jack. Press. Out. Left arm. Let's go. Pumping it, bouncing your step, light on your feet. Breathe every time you push forward. <laughs> Breathe out, modify if you need to, keep it moving. I like that. Laura got the water bottle. Look at that. Press, sip, press. Sip. <laughs> I like that strategy. Keep going. Pump that out there. There you go. Keep your rolling, modifying. Even if you're not jumping, if you were just stepping the feet out quick and your heart rate was already up, you're just going to keep it moving. You're just going to keep it burning. So these modifications are going to help you just as much. I mean, you're going to get just as much out of it modifying, even more modifying with good technique control than if you try to go through with bad technique, you end up straining something. So don't be afraid to modify. I modify some movement every single work I've ever done in my life. I always need to modify something at some point. So don't feel like you don't need, can't modify something, you feel bad about modifying something. I do it all the freaking time. Let's go five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Jack, press out and time. Put that down. That is the end of that round. Shake it. Stretch it. If it's not active recovery, this active recovery will be over. It will be right back to work. Back to work. So again, we're going to go back to that round. So you push up position, standing on your back, and a jack press. Coming up, let's say four. Movements, that same template, just keep it rolling. Just keep moving, stretch those shoulders. You know we're starting the push-up position, so find somewhere to put your arm again, stretch your chest out, stretch your shoulders, flow. We're gonna go to reverse glide in that push-up position. Another tough one for the push-up position. Literally, when you're down here, lifting the weight and flying it out to your side, a reverse fly. So again, if you need to modify your weight, it's gonna be the one of the ones you might need to modify sometime. Pretty tough movement. Keep it moving, stretching, shaking, stretch your shoulders, stretch your quads, stretch your glutes. Keep that blood flowing. Keep shaking it. Keep moving it. All right, we're going to get set up here for the push-up position. Reverse fly. We're going to do everything left arm first this round. So the weight is in your left arm this round first, just to switch things up. So push-up position. Feet apart, all you do is straight out to your side. Do as many as you can without touching, but then reset, touch the floor whenever you need to. Straight out to your side. Let's go three, two, one, boom, let's do it. Push up position, single arm reverse fly. Pretty tough movement, but awesome for your core, your back, your lats, behind your shoulder, that side that's holding you up, working your chest, your shoulder, your tricep. Your legs are working, holding you in place. Total body movement. If you have to touch that sucker down to the floor every single time, touch it down to the floor every single time. You have to go a little wider with your feet, go a little wider with your feet. It doesn't have to stay in the air the whole time. You can yeah, literally place it on the floor for every single rep. Squeeze it up, put it back on the floor. So if your weight's on that little bit of the medium to heavier side, put that on the floor every single time, you're going to get just as much or even better work. So don't think you have to stay in the air. If you start feeling anything weird in your hips or your waist, just reset. Put a knee down for a second. Regroup. Reset. And then keep Good. it moving. Lower that arm, Bev. Too high. Too high, Bev. Lower it down a little bit when you're going out. Don't go too high. A few more. Straight out to your side. Better. Left arm. Squeeze that upper back. And time, just take a knee for a second, come off of your arms. Just kneel on the floor if you have to stand up. Kneeling doesn't work. Just get off those arms. Regroup, reset it, get it into the right arm now. Get in position, push up position. Let's go in three, two, one. Push up position and reverse fly on the right side. Your back as straight as possible. Core tight. 
Go as slow as you need to to control that weight. Put your feet as far apart as you need to. Listen, if you need to put one knee on the floor, put one knee on the floor and bend the other leg. Give yourself support. You have to put both knees on the floor. This is one where you can both knees on the floor. You're going to get almost the same work on your back, your upper back, upper back muscles. So just do a single arm versus five. Put one knee down, put two knees down, the weight down between reps you need to. Always a way to make it happen. Make sure your core is tight. No matter what movement you pick, how many knees, no knees, consciously squeeze your core. So just because you, if you're putting your knees on the floor to support you, that doesn't mean you stop squeezing your abs. Still want to squeeze your abs and strengthen them up while you're squeezing it out there. Yes, yes, yes. Pump it, squeeze it, work it, work it. Three more, three more. There's one, two, and three. Nice, flip right over the back. The weight is in your left hand. It's just a flutter kick to a press. So you're here, left arm is pressing while both feet are flutter kicking. If it doesn't work for your back, look, just bend both knees a good amount and just alternate legs going up. With your knees pretty good bent, so you're going back into arms. So why do you have flutter kick? You need to press your back into the floor so your core stays tight and support your low back. We're going in three, in two, in one, kick. Flutter kick, left arm, don't forget, we're going left arm first this round, pumping it. Press, butter kick to the left arm, press. Pump that, press that lower back and floor. Dig it, pump it, squeeze it, cruise it. Yes. Breathe that out. Make sure that core stays tight the entire time. Blasting it, pumping it, kicking it. Breathe, 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 breathe. Go about eight seconds, eight seconds. Get that palm in the whole time. Don't even put the elbow out, put the palm in. Just so you can get a quicker pump on that. You want that pumping fast while you're blasting those legs. Three, two, one, time. Regroup, transition to the right arm. Now it's right arm, yes. With flutter kick, going in three, two, one, and boom, blast that out. Pump those legs, kick them while that right arm is pressing and pump it. Pump. Blast. Yes. Kick it, kick it, kick it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you need to, you just put one leg down the floor at a time, but make sure you're alternating legs. Don't just do one leg if you need to modify it. Just put both legs on the floor, just lift up one at a time, alternate legs while you're pumping with that right arm. A few more, a few more. Going five presses. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Right away on your feet. Left arm. We got split, jack, press, up. That means your feet go front to back. The weight goes up and down. Split, jack, press, up. Going in three, in two, in one. Boom, let's roll. Left arm, split, jack, press, up. Let's do it. Breathe it out. Bounce your step. It's late in the game. You do what you got to do. The more tired you get, the stronger you get. The more tired you get, the more you have to focus on your technique. The more tired you get, the more discipline you get. The more tired you get, the faster you move. Not fade or use the entire excuse to have bad technique. Get focused. Get crystal clear focused. Laser beam focus on that technique and that control. Modify when you need to. But modify before you stop. Die before you quit. Keep pumping it. There we go. You need to regroup. You regroup. You do what you got to do. This shit ain't easy. It's not supposed to be easy. Shit, I'm only doing two or three of them, and I'm dying over here. So I expect you to be dying. You're supposed to be dying. Just modify if you have to. Tap those feet back as you're rolling. And time. Switch over to the right arm. Right arm to finish off this round. Split. Jack. Press. Up. Bang it out. Pump it out. Yes. Give me a quick set. Bounce it out. We're rolling. There we go, extend that arm all the way up there. Ben is just tossing weight across the damn house. 
just flung that shit like this. Pumping it, pumping it, pumping it. Extend that arm up, going in five, four, three, two, one. Time is not going to be a real break here. It's just shaking with three. We're going to go right to the final round. I'm sure you'll have nowhere to go, so we're going to get an extra round in. We're going to get a couple extra bonus minutes here. We have one more round to get to. Four more exercises, four more movements done. But we need to get this last round in. We need it. We need it. All right. We're going to start in that push-up position. Again, we're still going with the left arm first. All you're doing with this left arm, you're in the push-up position, is reaching across, tapping it out as far as you can to your right, tapping it as far as you can to your left. Tap to your right, tap to your left with the weight. I don't care what angle it is, I don't care where it is, you're just transferring the weight. Tapping it, never letting go of the weight. Tap right, tap left. Going in three, two, one, and go. So you push up this left arm. Left arm just reaches to your right, it reaches to your left. Reach to your right, reach to your left. Just literally tap it to the floor without even shifting any weight onto the floor. Just tapping it. If you need to shift weight to regroup, to reset, do what you got to do. But reach underneath yourself as far as you can. Try to come all the way across your body. So a little twist in your body when you're reaching to your right. As far as you can reach without tipping over and falling on your face. Although I have fell on my face too, some of this before. Reach across, twist, and tap. Give me a quick set. And switch right over to the arm. Right away. Come to your knees just to reset. Back to the push up position. Wide stance. Right arm. Twist and tap to your left. Reach out to your right. Twist, tap to your left. Reach out to your right. So when you're coming to that left side, get a little twist and a reach. Try to go as far as you can. Challenge yourself. How far can you twist out there without tweaking your back or your shoulder or your knee? Control it. Tap and tap. Tap and tap. Back and straight. Strong. Yes. Beth's got a plate. Push it, Beth. Push the plate. This is a plate. Just push it. Makes it easy. Makes it, it flows better. There you go. Just push it. There you go. Better. Boom, boom, boom. Reach across. There it is. A few more, a few more, a few more. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And time. Maybe she's, we're going to go single leg squat thrust right here. So the left leg is going to be on the floor. The weight, or sorry, the right leg is going to be on the floor. The weight's in your left hand. So you're going down to the floor, jump back with your right leg, come in right leg, and stand up. So it's going to be like a single leg deadlift coming up. So single leg squat thrust with the weight in your left hand. So I'll show you from the side. Just on my right leg only. Squat down, both hands touch the floor, jump back with the right, jump in with the right, stand up. You need to modify that. If Claire, if that one's not going to work, you're going to take the right leg and you're just going to pump this out, a press with a knee raise. Let's do it. Single leg squat thrust. Weights in your left hand. Going in three, two, one, go. Squat down, jump back, jump in, and stand up. Right leg is on the floor only. Pumping that out, pumping that out. You need to do without the weight, do without the weight. Try to keep that weight in your left hand if you can. Take your time, don't rush it. Squat down, come back right leg, come forward. If you can stand that right leg even from the beginning, squat down just the right leg. If you have to squat down on both, and then just jump back with the right and jump forward with both. Tons of ways you can do it to make it happen. You want to challenge yourself to stand that right leg the entire time. When you stand back up, you can reset that right leg. And ties your charms. So clean your right hand, and you're going to slowly squat across the line of left one there. Squat down, jump back, jump in, squat up. You want to really challenge yourself to never touch that right leg for the entire set, you're feeling good. You have to reset on the top of this going three, two, one, go. Wait to your right hand. So Claire, you're here. Boom. Keeping it moving. 
Ready for love, so we can let's stretch those quads out. Again, we're gonna pull back for 30, 30 seconds. Get balance and love something. Lay your standing up, make sure that knee stays slightly bent. As the weather's getting hotter, start realizing I'm probably not drinking no water. Maybe you have this water toy one day, water having chops, and exactly where I'm going in. Because as you start training more, you're gonna need to drink more. It's getting hotter, you're gonna need to drink more. Keep up that stretch, stay balanced. You should be drinking water right when you wake up. First thing you want to wake up is that like 30, 35 ounces of water right away right after that. Then you should be drinking water before you work out, during your work out, after you work out. You should be drinking water with every single meal and that water right before you go to sleep. So make sure you're running to, take to go to the bathroom all day. That's where you should be. Then you're really drinking enough water. Good, ease that down. Anyone have any questions? They need any help with any of their exercise, with their nutrition, with their meals, any of anything to help with? This is the time to talk about it right now, live and in person. And if not, so it's also later. Don't forget, always reach out on the VIP page. Have a question on there, tag us in, make sure we see it. And even if you need additional help on top of that, and so we prefer that a simple question, you pretty much can have, have unlimited nutrition coaching. One on one coaching, if you need it, we can talk on the phone with you. We do it all the time, almost every day. We're on the phone with a couple different members just help you out, help down your nutrition. So, if you need help with nutrition, utilize that. We have tons of resources there for you. We have the VIP page, we have the, the portal, which has literally dozens and dozens of hours of information for mindset, for exercises, for nutrition. Every single online workout we've ever done since we've been doing this now for four months, there's hundreds of them. Logged into that feed portal. So if you need to get an extra one done, you can go back and watch any one of those. You can see they're, they're all organized by the coach, the type of class, whether it's boot camp or boxing. It shows you what equipment you need, if it was strength or cardio. You have tons of resources here, so there are no excuses. There are more options now than ever before. Even though we're not even yet back into the gym and when that's going to happen is, we still don't even know because the state of New York, if you don't know, they have the little phase things and all that crap about phase one, two, three, four. They still have not officially put gyms into a phase. They still say they don't know what phase is gyms to win, whether it's three or four. It's not even told where it's in. And phase three, I think, starts supposedly next week or either Friday, this Friday or Tuesday or something next week is phase three, which we have any sense of that they can do it. But whenever that is, we're prepared to jump right in literally the next day when everything is set up to go right back into the gym. So you'll have all that information about how the schedule is going to work. There still will be online sessions while, when the gym, whenever that is that it reopens, because it will just be reopened partially, just as we transition back into it and it has limitations and restrictions. So it'll be pretty much 50-50 in the gym and here. So these aren't going anywhere because these are probably more convenient for a lot of people. We've gotten tons of great feedback for the online sessions. So they're not going anywhere. So you'll always have the option to do these as we go forward. Everyone have any questions? Need help or anything? No. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. All right, let's get a, a hairy knuckle virtual fist bump. Come on. There we go. Since you're not allowed to touch each other, keep your, your, your spacing and all that other stuff. <laughs> Give your out to anyone. Oh, all right, man. if you need anything, reach out to us on the page or a private message or a call, text, whatever it is. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. See you later. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank Bye, you. everybody. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Adios. Adios. Take care, Danny. Take Thank care, you. Man. Bye. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks for coming on. Take care. That was Bye. a little surprise. <laughs>